Making Grumpy Cat look grumpy is not easy. I've looked at hundreds of pictures and I've tried lots and lots of different drawings, but I think I've worked out some of the essential things that make him look grumpy. But let's not talk about it. Let's do it. Draw a curve with a vertical leading edge and a slanting at the back and cut the space in half vertically and then again into quarters. Draw three lines horizontally so the boxes you end up with are wider than they are taller. Draw the ears on the top and the nose where the first four boxes meet. Just below the nose the mouth curves straight down to the bottom line on the left and it curves and slants down to the right. Draw in the lips from the top of the nose curving round to meet the bottom of the mouth. The eye on the right is quite circular, while perspective on the left makes the eye squash up into an ellipse, but it's the same height as the first eye. Draw the eyeballs looking slightly to the left. Now this is one of Grumpy Cat's secrets. She rarely looks into the camera, probably because someone is distracting her from the side, but it adds to that distinctive, not making eye contact grumpy look. Make her eyelids face downwards to accentuate the grumpiness even more, but not too much. We don't want the lovable grumpiness to turn into rage or anger. <laughs> a curve from the top of the head to the middle of the nose can be used as a guide to draw in the white flash above the nose. Now you can ink in or trace a finished copy. Do you think Grumpy Cat really is grumpy? I bet she's cute, really. Apparently her real name is Tardar Sauce. I think I would call her Mizzy, short for misery. <laughs> what would you call her? Answers down below, please. Well, when the ink is dry, erase the pencil and we are ready for painting. I put the eye colour in first because I like to identify with the character and the eyes are where you communicate with the picture. Then a little pink about the nose and lips, followed by a wash of Naples yellow with a touch of sepia around the eyes and ears. Then darken up around the eyes with dark sepia. And the ears are a very dark sepia too. Now if you like this lesson, please let me know. And please tell your friends on Twitter and Facebook and in real life too. <laughs> and what do you think has made Grumpy Cat so grumpy? answers in the comments box below. Now for your interest I'm using a Pentel Aquash brush with Winsor & Newton Artist Quality paints. And the Aquash keeps the water flowing to the brush so the colour thins out as you lay down a wash on the paper. It's a bit different to a normal brush but I'm getting to really like the effect. Well there we go. I hope you enjoyed that and if you did why not learn to draw a cute cartoon kitten or take a chance with a mystery drawing. Either way, make sure you're subscribed for lots more drawing lessons and advice. In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye. <laughs>